video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Crew Mode video. And today, we are going to be looking at another one of the up and coming players, still quite decent though, already in FIFA 16 Career Mode. It is William Carvalho. That's right, King William. Sir William is finally getting his 2025 Crew Mode video, and it's about time because this man is an absolute career mode beast. Just a beast in general. Just one of the next up and coming big fucking units being played at the centre defensive midfield spot. Just that man mountain sort of role, as you know, sitting ahead of the back four. But either way, let's take a look at Carvalho in depth a little bit better. He's a still younger-ish player, around about 23 years of age, so he's definitely got many seasons left of growth in him. And of course, that's reflected with an 81 overall and an 87 high 80s potential. That's superb. I think a good way to describe this guy would be if, say, Yaya Torre and Sergio Busquets had an absolutely beautiful big black Portuguese baby. This would be the offspring of them. That would be beautiful. But either way, let's take a look at this man's stats. But let's take a look at Carvalho's stats in depth. Again, the physical attributes can maybe leave a little bit to be desired. He's not the most agile or zippiest of players. He can feel a bit sluggish, but I'll tell you what, the high stamina and strength is ridiculous. The aggression and the interceptions look great. And then things like his ball control and dribbling, which personally I think could be even a bit higher. Decent passing as well, and his defensive attributes as well, which look superb, make him an absolutely brilliant holding CDM midfielder, of course. And then 23 years of age, 6 foot 2, nice and tall, can play a little bit further ahead at centre midfield as well. He's got the strength speciality, of course. Nearly 90-odd strength and no traits. But there you go. Once again, the potential reminder, 87. Imagine him at 87. What an absolute tank. I'll be sure to do my absolute best to try to get him as high up as possible. Although, there's only so much I can do. All we have to do is leave it up to him. And he immediately gets us off on the right foot with an 83. Plus two in the first season. Unfortunately, we had this issue with morale. Every now and again, we've got players that are super duper happy playing shitloads of games. And then we have players that are playing shitloads of games and just cannot be fucking pleased at all. But either way, we'll forget about that because it doesn't seem to have too big an input, thankfully. Anyway, technical attributes. Every stat seems to have gone up. Physical and mental leaves a little bit to be desired. Nothing seems to have gone up, but still, decent start. Can never be disappointed with a plus two start unless you're doing some... 55 year old random trying to get to a 90 old potential, but either way, moving on. Carvalho has only gone and backed it up with another plus two increase in one season. That is absolutely great. And again, he's gone back to back with no increases to his physical or mental for what's being indicated. And this time around, we only get certain stats that seem to be indicated to have gone up in the technical attributes. But still, I can see a couple of stats that have gone up but aren't being shown. But either way, it's another plus two increase. Brilliant stuff, Carvalho. That's four in your first two seasons and only two away from hitting your potential. Can you do it in your third season? Well, the time to find that out is right now. Has he been able to hit that 87 potential in his very first three seasons? He's just finally absolutely only been able to go up by the one this time around at 86 and only 26 years of age as well and this is looking crazy some of those ball control ball controls looking superb marking the defending attributes the stand tackle is at 95 for christ's sake a lot of those defending attributes are the ones that seem to be indicated and of course the passing as well you've got 89 short passing for crying out there it looks absolutely brilliant just imagine him just imagine him this guy patrolling that back four he would be doing that job brilliantly but a very good very positive first three seasons has he been able to maintain, get a little bit higher and hopefully hold onto that decent odd rating? Can he still be around that 87 mark or that 86 mark by 2025? Let's find out. So here we are, 2025 with William Carvalho, who had a brilliant first three seasons, an absolutely impeccable start, going up by five in the first three, only one away from his potential. Has he been able to hold or maintain or even get over it? What's his rating in 2025? It's 88 rated, actually going down in this season as well, which means he's hit 89 at least, which is superb. Two over his overall, uh, two over his potential, and then you look at some of those stats that he has. Marking, stand tackle, slide tackle, the short passing, and the ball control, all about as good as they can get. So, so close, the high 90s, superb stuff. The, the stamina and the strength just seems to have stayed the exact same all the time. In fact, all the physical attributes seem to still, still seem to be the same because I see no improvement, almost any improvement to the physical attributes, which is weird. The mental attributes, I think I can see a couple, but that's just beyond bizarre. It just seems like only technical attributes. 
are the real stats that have had significant change. It is a bit disappointing. I would like to have seen the physical attributes get a little bit better, but I suppose if you want any of those sort of attributes to go up, mental, physical, or technical, you'd probably want them to be the technical ones, wouldn't you? But still, there we go. Technical attributes looking sound, some of them looking absolutely brilliant, almost perfect, and that is William Carvalho in 2025. Thanks for watching another video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, leave in the comments down below your suggestions for the next video, and until then, my name's Master Bucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.